guys, this is Shay from Wonderfully Chaotic, and today we are embarking on a once a month shopping venture for groceries. So this is for April. I've got my menu plan here for the month, which I've been scribbling on. I printed it out and then I had to make some corrections, so started redoing that, and then I'm printing out, which is kind of hard to see because there's a glare, but I'm printing out my grocery list of all the things I need to buy. And we're actually splitting it up into two different trips at two different stores today. So i um, going to save a lot today and we're going to get a load of stuff. And then tomorrow I'm going to be go picking up the rest of my order um, at Sam's. Okay, so a little backstory. Um, we have done once a month grocery shopping. Um, it's been a long time though and I think we only had a couple kids then. We tried it out um, just to see how it worked and if it would work for our family. So we've not done it in a long time. So as of right now, we have two adults and six kids, sometimes seven kids um, when my stepdaughter is here. But for the most part, there's generally six kids here. So um, that's the amount of people that we are feeding. Um, and I calculated like how much we've spent on groceries over the last couple months. Well, I didn't. My husband looked it up for me because we use... Um, a budget software where we enter all of our transactions and stuff and put it into categories so we can see how much we've spent. Anyway, he looked it up for me. Thank you. And um, so I know about how much we've spent and I'm going to see if this makes a difference in, for one thing, um, the money of how much we've spent. And then also for time, because I feel like, you know, I am going to the store once a week for sure, but then there's also like little things that are cropping up and I try and meal plan anyway. But I'm hoping that this will maybe cut down on the trips and the um, extra stuff. So I meal plan, but it is for uh, generally a week at a time. Sometimes I'll do two weeks, but usually it's just a week at a time. So this time I did an entire month, the whole month of April. So I've now got my meal plan. I've got my grocery list. I am placing my Sam's order and we're getting ready to go to the store. All right, we're finally headed out the door to the store now. So we are at Sam's for day two of our once a month shopping. I just went and picked up our order. Um, I ordered everything online and then we went into the store and picked it up and my phone is going crazy, but it couldn't be any easier than that. Hey guys, this is Shay from Wonderfully Chaotic and I am finally getting around to posting about groceries. Um, I started originally at the end of March um, planning to do a once a month meal plan and big grocery haul for April. And I did do that. Um, and it went interesting. I'm finally finishing up the video now. It is about, it's almost the end of May now, but I have good reasons for why I haven't finished it because life has been very crazy, um, to say the least. And I will talk more about that in another video. But anyway, so we're talking groceries today. And I finally have gotten around to getting all my numbers crunched and uh, things settled down. And so the month of April, we did once a month meal plan. I did um, two or three separate big hauls um, from our local Sam's Club and from our little... I mean, I guess it's not really little, local grocery store um, here in town, which is um, Save A Lot. And I tried to make a spreadsheet that showed all of the stuff that we had, the stuff that we needed, um, and then planned our meals out for the whole month, dinner and lunch, and then breakfast is pretty basic. Um, I keep breakfast pretty easy here. I usually only make like make breakfast um, on the weekends sometimes. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it is generally cereal, oatmeal, easy stuff, um, fruit, yogurt, things like that. But anyway, so lunches and dinners um, and then dessert, because I do make dessert sometimes, and then snacks, those were all figured in. And we had done once a month shopping before, um, a couple well, it's been a while back because we only had maybe two or three kids. And now we have a family of eight or nine when my stepdaughter is here staying with us. We have nine. Um, so our family is bigger now. And I thought that maybe the once a month shopping would be 
easier, would be more helpful, that I would already have everything, that I wouldn't have to make multiple, multiple trips to the store. Um, and I was wrong. <laughs> um, there were several things that did not work. Um, one of the things is that um, bread and fruit and milk and things, those are just things that I'm going to have to go to the store and get, or I'm gonna to have to have my husband pick up regardless because they go so fast in our house. When you have six kids in the house, six growing kids in the house, um, they're eating a lot. <laughs> and that's another problem I have with the once a month shopping for us, not necessarily for everybody else. For us is that the availability of all of the food was also kind of not necessarily bad, I don't want to say bad, I mean, it's good that you have that food, but um, it was bad for us because the kids were like, oh, we've got, you know, uh, six bags of pretzels. I will just take down the whole bag of pretzels and, you know, so there was a lot of me having to go in and make sure people aren't getting in the food. Like, don't eat all of the food. This is supposed to last us all month. <laughs> just because there's a lot of it here doesn't mean that we need to eat it faster. So maybe that's something we could just work out by talking with the kids and trying to get it better figured out, I guess. But anyway, um, looking at the numbers, which I have on my nicely decorated, like I actually have my stuff on here, but someone decorated it for me, <laughs> my little notebook here. We actually did not end up saving money like I thought we would um, for our once a month shopping. Um, we actually spent more and the most that we've spent this year um, on groceries doing that, um, you know, I did have, I had the, I think it was two separate big shopping trips. And then I had like once a week where I would go and get milk, bread, you know, those things that we ran out of or the produce that wouldn't last for the whole month. Um, I, the, so for, so for April, we spent uh, $573 on groceries. And um, that was the most that we've spent this year. Just Now this is just on groceries. This doesn't count eating out. We keep those separate. We have groceries and then eating out, like going out to eat and stuff. That's different. Um, that is the most that we've spent this year so far on groceries. Um, the second runner up to that would be in January, we spent 553. Um, and then February, we spent 448. Um, I don't know, maybe we went out to eat more in February. February is a shorter month. I don't know. Um, March, we spent 452. And then so far in May, which May is almost over now, we only have a couple more days left, we've spent $490. And see, I just, you know, we didn't save any money doing that once a month like I thought we would. Um, but that's okay, you know, maybe we'll try it again in the future. Um, what I have switched to doing for this month, for this month of May, what I have been doing is once a week, I have been getting on the computer and making a Walmart pickup um, grocery list um, order. There we go, order, that's the word I was looking for. Um, so I have been doing that. Uh, my husband and I had talked about it um, talked about doing it because one of our local Walmarts, not the one that's actually local to us, like five minutes from our house, but the one that's like 20 minutes away, um, they have pickups. So you can just get online, you can order it all, and then just go pick it up at the store. They bring it out to you, they put it in your car, and you go home, which I love. And I know that it probably sounds silly, but I have another video, which I will link in here, of Kroger's uh, Click List. I don't know if it's still called Click List. Um, I used it probably, I think last year or the year before, I used it quite a bit. Um, it, it's just so handy. Um, I do not like taking all my kids in the store. Um, I will do it if I have to, but it's much easier to just go by myself or to do a pickup order. Going to the grocery store. Yes, I find it much easier to do these pickup, the click list, the, any of these things. So we saw that the Walmart was doing this now. Um, and they don't charge a fee for it. It's just, there's no fee. Um, so what we did was we went to our local store here, which is Save a Lot. And then we also have IGA, which is local to us. And we went there and priced some things too. And then we got on Walmart's website and looked at all the prices for the store there and compared them to see if there would be any um, 
big price jumps, big price differences, um, whether it would be worth it or not to drive that little extra bit of time to go pick up the groceries. And so we figured out that really the prices weren't that much different. There were actually a bunch of things that were cheaper at Walmart. So um, we started doing that. And um, it's also worth it to me too, because my time is uh, very valuable and I spend a lot of time here at home doing things and I need that time to get all of my stuff done during the day. Um, so that's one less thing that I have to do. I can just, after the kids go to bed at night, I can get on the computer, I can input all the groceries that I need, I can push click, and then I just go pick it up the next day. We just make a little outing, run out, get them, come back, put them away, and then we're back to doing whatever we need to do. So for me, it's a really great thing. I can see where other people might not find it that helpful. They might find it more of a pain. Maybe it's further away for them to go there. But for us, for right now, that's what I'm doing and that's what's working really well. And uh, we are not spending more money doing that. We're, you know, staying pretty, pretty close to what we were before. So that's what we're doing right now for groceries. And I'm just wanting to know your thoughts. I have been very surprised um, recently I've gotten into some discussions online with people talking about groceries and I'm surprised to see either how much people spend how little people spend but everybody's different you know everybody's family you know has well of course like different amounts of people you know if somebody has one child they might not spend as much as us with six or seven kids here you know what I'm saying um or just different, like some people might have to get gluten-free stuff. Some people might want to get um, completely organic or they might be vegan or they might have special dietary requirements that require them to get things that are more expensive or harder to find. So everybody's groceries, grocery bill, grocery list is gonna be different. But I'm just curious about your thoughts and what works for you. Um, would you ever do grocery pickup or do you do it? You sound off in the comments below and let me know. And if this is something that interests you guys, I might make some more of these videos. We'll see. Um, and you just let me know what you think. Greatly appreciate hearing your thoughts. So I will see you in the next one. Okay, so I got interrupted there for a moment by a kiddo. Anyway, what was I talking about? Now I don't remember. Oh, okay. Okay, hey, hey, close the door just a little bit. Not all the way, just a little bit. Yes, like that, that's fine, thank you. Okay, so a little backstory while I wait for this to print. Um, I, ooh, I just hit the wrong button. Ooh, no, 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 don't print everything. Ooh. So we are on day two of our once a month shopping. I got my little buddy with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> got my little buddy and we are, I don't know what my camera's doing. It's going all kinds of crazy. Wee. <laughs> okay, so a little backstory. Um, we, what are they doing? So I did that for the whole month of April. Oh my gosh, dog, what is the matter with you? What is the matter? <laughs> ah, why are you barking? Why? <laughs> Literally trying to make a video here, dog. <laughs> you are not being helpful. Why? Oh, now you're being quiet. Now when I turn the camera on you, you're quiet. Rufus. Rufus, now you're being quiet. You wouldn't stop whining. No, you wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>